Hey peeps, how y'all doing today? It's been a while since y'all seen me in this position right here. So y'all know what time it is, right? Y'all thought I forgot about y'all. <laughs> nope, didn't forget. Just been kind of like busy and winding down from all that stuff that was going on back there. So today is Tuesday. June 27th, I'm thinking, at 5.30 in the p.m. So I'm just chilling, y'all. Just, it's my week to wash dishes. So I got her done. We're in a week to cook. She got her done. She ain't got to put up the food and clean the table. She got her done. Sonny got to do the floor, sweep, vacuum, rug. He got her done. So basically to sum it all up, we got her done. So yeah, I, just, I wanted to read a book. It's been a while. I miss reading my book, y'all. But the topic that I'm getting ready to read, y'all, going to be oh, gonna get down to the nitty gritty right here. So did I say how y'all doing? Did I? If I didn't, forgive me. How you doing? You enjoying your summer? You enjoying your summer break? You enjoying it? Cause I am real. Ooh, y'all just know. I still get up kind of early, but it's one thing just waking up on your own early, and then having to wake up and ready for school and all that and get my man focused on they, they work and stuff so yeah i just get a chance to chill but i've been getting i've been cleaning up stuff i got a list a mental summer list so um every day i'm, I'm doing i got a lot of recipes like i done printed off a computer I'm going through them, typing them all up. I think I'm going to do five a day. I got like 15 left. I did four. I did a couple of before. I did four today, typed them up. I'm going to put them in a binder. So, and I got to paint. So, every summer, I always paint, um, touch up on my white and my doors. I didn't paint this front door white, but I, I wanna, I'm going to paint that white, the front inside in and out. I did the back door. But me and the kids gonna do that. Me and the girl is gonna do that cause the Sonny, he got a summer job. He started yesterday. So yeah, he ain't gonna really be here with us. But I gave Rena a Medi and a Patty today. Ring, come and show them your nails. And I did our hair. I've been getting it done, y'all. What? Y'all how one of my vlogs would say, y'all better. I don't say it like her, but still. Show them your nails. This the color. She got some pretty nails, y'all. What color is this? Purple. It just say purple on the bottle? Oh, Are you just color. trying to be? It's a specific color. You know they be having colors. Yeah, I know. I didn't read it. Yeah, and I did our toes. I don't know. But I got my uh, camera on tripod. But this is some kind of um, purple. She got like two different shades of purple. And show them your hair. You wanna bend down? <laughs> she been calling me like that for uh, so I, she washed it. Mm -hmm. And I just put two French braids going to the back. Mm -hmm. I stopped it halfway. And mm -hmm. I put just to protect her edges, I braided mm -hmm. it right there on the edge. Mm -hmm. And then I put it in two puff balls and I French braided the back. Yeah, I got to do Shan tonight. She get her hair done, and I'm going to get her Manny and Patty. I did mass yesterday, just sitting on the after I finish hers. And I'm, I like this little light pink. I don't know if y'all can really see it, but it's kind of a pinkish, like, light pink. I got it at the beauty supply store, and I wanted to try it. I, I kind of like it. It's simple. But, y'all, uh, Rain, what you doing? I remember my mama used to do me like this all the time. I get it. I so get it. Can you come and turn the fan tour with me? Please. She just left out too. 
Cause I don't want to get up. I got the I got the tripod over over my legs and stuff. No, can't turn around toward me a little bit. Raina, really? Can I scoot it back? Yeah, but we'll scoot it back a little bit. Okay, that's good. That's good. Okay, y'all. So I'm on chapter four. I'm reading from this book. Thank you. Oh, my mama used to do me like that all the time. I mean, we stand in the projects, right? <laughs> my room was like right by her room. And she'll be like, Sharon. I'm like, think of something wrong. Like, get coming out, getting out of my bed. I don't know what I was doing. But I know I was coming out what majority of the time I was in my room. She like, can you pull the shade down? I'm like, really? Why she laying down there watching TV? I get it, Ma. I get it. <laughs> oh, I so get it. Especially while them girls. You better. You better. No, but anyway. I like picking up certain sayings. Anyway, here we go. Oh, I'm reading from this book. I think the cloud done got in front of the sun because it was sunny. But I'm going to see what I can do. These little eyes of mine. Okay, I'm on chapter four, y'all. A whole new chapter. And look what it's called. Oh, oh. Y'all nervous? <laughs> I am. <laughs> Ooh. Am I getting ready to get checked or what? Okay, here we go. It's a... We're, I'm not going to read this whole chapter because it's pretty long. Obviously, she had a, little, a, a nice little amount to say about his sexuality. I thought it was going to be about something else, but I kind of glanced up. I'm like, oh, I don't know if I want to really read this right here. But I, I, I'm going to warm it up and read this. Okay, here we go. We're hitting the top priorities in a man's life right away in this book. I feel that we can contribute to our husband's happiness in these areas more, most dear to their hearts. Now, I'm going to need some light. Shan! I'm try, I try. I can't see. I mean, it was just sunny. Shan! Can you come and cut this lamp on right here? What you was doing, sweetie? Nothing. Nothing? Yeah, because I, I was trying, but I, I, it wasn't working. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Welcome in. <laughs> Okay, let's let's start over. We're hitting the top priorities in a man's life right away in this book. I feel if we can contribute to our husband's happiness in these areas most dear to their hearts, we will have greater success making inroads in other areas that are crucial to their well-being. After 20 years of praying with women about their fulfilling now nah, about their failing, struggling, unfulfilling, or dead marriages. I observe that frequently the sexual relationship is a low priority in their minds. <laughs> Woo! It isn't that the wife cares nothing about that part of her life. It's that there are so many, so many other things screaming for her attention, such as raising children, Bam! Work, finances, managing a home, emotional stress, exaltation, sickness, and marital strife in the wife's in in the wife's juggling of priorities sets can end up on the bottom of her list. Hallelujah! I'm glad he ain't up while I'm reading this. <laughs> Where I was at. I'm, I'm finna just be all over the place reading this, this topic. I already know. Some women allow week after week, month after month, six months, a year, or even more to go back without having sexual relations with their husbands for one reason or another. Wow. Six months, a year, or even more? Oh, wow. I'm not that bad then. <laughs> when disaster hits, 
they are surprised. Even though the wife may have felt fine about this arrangement, her husband was being neglected in an important part of his being. Wow. For a wife, says comes out of affection. Her, she doesn't want to be affectionate with the man who makes her feel angry, hurt, lonely, disappointed, overworked, unsupported, uncared for, or abandoned. <laughs> but for a husband, sex is pure need. Wow. It's a need. That's a big word. I mean, it's a little word with a big meaning. Need. Hmm, how about that? His eyes, his ears, his brain, and emotions get clouded if he doesn't have that release. <laughs> it ain't funny, but it's true. Oh, it's so true. That's messed up. He has trouble hearing anything his wife says or sees what she needs. But that era of, of his being is neglected. I like how she wording it. Why sometimes have it backwards? Okay, all right. They think we can have sex after we get those other issues settled. But actually, there is a far greater chance of selling the other issue if sex comes first. True. That's all I got to say. True. This is R-rated, by the way. For me. Wow. You say, that's why it is important to make sex a matter of priority in your marriage. Whether all conditions are perfect or whether you feel like it or not isn't the point. Ooh, bag up, let's bag it up, bag it up, let's bag this up. Reread, let me reread this. Okay, where was I at? Whether all conditions are perfect or whether you feel, okay, okay, okay. That's why it's important to make sex a matter of priority in your marriage. Whether all conditions are perfect or whether you feel like it or not isn't the point. The point is meeting the needs of your husband and keeping communication lines open. A man can easily be made to feel insignificant beaten down, discouraged, destroyed, or tempted in this era of his being. Being, wow. There is probably no more important means of fulfillment for a man and no area where he is more vulnerable. Wow, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start right there, y'all, wow. Cause that was a whole brain mouthful right there. And the sun coming back out. A whole brain full. A whole a whole mouthful. But y'all get that right. This part right here just summed it up right here. I mean to me. <laughs> that is why it's more it's important to make sex. I got to say that word soft. I got kids over there. A matter of priority in your marriage whether all condition are perfect or whether you feel like it that's it right there or not is it the point Wow man man I mean well you know what I've been married um uh, how many to Ooh, 24 oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. let me start over y'all 92 this high count bear with me 92 92 2012 13 14 15 16 17 it'll be 25 years 
Wow, in November, y'all. So y'all know I get that, but I mean, it is what it is. You have to do what you have to do to keep, you know, things copacetic in your home. <laughs> <laughs> Woo basically for those that don't know now you know what it's about what it is and what it ain't cause whether it's everything is perfect whatever if he ain't fixed this and he ain't fixed that he ain't did this and he ain't bought you that that ain't the point you gotta keep your man satisfied your husband. We ain't just talking about like them little, you know, you know. Those type of relationships. We're talking about those relationships that has been, you know, um, um, uh, bonded by God. Yeah, those. Marriage. That. You know, so yeah, y'all. I thought that was really good. I thought that was, I mean, it's real insightful. Especially, like, if I had read this book back in the day, in the beginning, well, well, we ain't gonna get too deep about that. But it's still good to hear it and give you something to meditate on. So when you cross those bridges, you could think about it like, I mean, if he cheating, that's a whole different situation. But if he cheating, that's called something... If something went wrong here. Something went wrong. But outside of that, it's like God created the woman for the man. That's all I got to say. I'm in it on that. So yeah, I hope y'all really enjoyed that read. I hope y'all took something from it. I hope it fed your your natural man. I hope it fed you for your marriage and everything. So I'm gonna get ready to put this video on my computer and I don't know if I'm going to edit it today. I don't even know when I'm going to put it up. Today, Tuesday. I might try to put it up tomorrow, y'all. I've been on the road, y'all. Sure. My grandbabies went home yesterday, which was Sunday. No, yesterday was Monday. My days is just all mixed up because I haven't... It ain't no school. So, y'all bear with me if I call Friday. Wednesday, I don't know. Y'all just know that I'm not really paying attention to the days like that. I'm chilling. I, I'm seriously in chill mode. So I might forget what today is. I might forget the number of the day. But nevertheless, I ain't gonna forget to pull out my camera and make a video for y'all and talk about y'all know what. He said to land around the kids. So yeah. Then next is this book. I know y'all missed this book. Y'all we can't be neglecting mass here. Because this stuff is deep right here. Because when I be watching news. And I be watching this political stuff going on. This right here brings some insight into this stuff that be happening in the world. And, and, and then don't y'all know. Like I was telling y'all about this little driving situation. And how people. I mean some in the atmosphere with this driving. I just walked in the room and I looked at the TV. It was a real bad crash somewhere. And all I know, a female dad, she was black. I, I don't know how she was. I think she was a police officer or something. They was just talking about it. So I'm either assuming she died yesterday or maybe this morning. Or I think it's recently. But when I watch the news, I fan out. But... It's been a lot of accidents. It ain't just like accidents where you can just walk away from it and just, ooh, get your car fixed. No. Lives are seriously being taken from these accidents and stuff. And that's why I'm like, I just, I'm super, super conscious when we leave out this house to go get in our truck and, get, and hit the streets. I'm always praying. And that, hey, I might even say it two or three times while I'm out there because it's like I can feel it. I don't know, it's weird, but I can feel like it's some type of spirit hoovering over. It's some type of disastrous spirit throwing out, y'all. I'm telling you, that's, I don't know what God done sent for, but it's like I feel it. I can feel a danger. 
when I'm out here and we driving cause it's just something people not paying attention I don't know it's like people like zombies out here like the walking dead just go that's driving you know not looking to the left not looking to the right not even looking in their mirrors and seeing what's behind you know just driving I'm like that's not gonna work so I don't know but they better start praying too you know cause I'm trying to make it throughout this summer I'm just trying to leave, you know. Ain't nobody got time to be there. You know, I got work to be done. I got, I got things to do. I, I ain't even made my bucket list yet. I got things to do. I was telling the hubby, I said, it was something I wanted to do that I had on my bucket list. Well, it was a, a bucket list, but I, I see a bucket list. I don't know, but I forgot what it was, man. I'll let you know when it come back to me. So, y'all, y'all already know my videos. Whatever. Forget it. Just, just, just bear with me, you know. Just, just go with me. Just ride this ride along with me. This journey along with me. We ain't gonna even worry about how long videos are. How long I talk. Read. Whatever I bring to my video. We ain't gonna even worry about it, right? Okay. So on that note, y'all, I hope everybody have a I'm gonna really try to put this up Wednesday, hopefully. But if not, I hope everybody have a blessed day, a safe day, a productive day. And I pray that a hedge of protection be around you and your family, your loved ones in general, for real. Because we are really living in some dangerous times, y'all. It might not hit you, but it will affect you one way or another. If it's through other loved ones, it's something. It's happening. It's happening. And so, yeah. On that note, I'm out, y'all. And um, I think that's it. Peace and love. Share some. And I'll see y'all again later on in the week. And guess what? Y'all guessed it. I holla. Bye, y'all. Peace.